Tell me, we don't need salt now. What? This water then. This is Kejakuno village. Class 10 students are on tour. Nice view of the village. Kejakuno. Announcement stone, sacred stone. Our teachers are resting, <laughs> tired after a short tour of the village. A tourist guide, Avi, is giving all the explanation. Is very tired, huh? tired or oh, got the leech? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> nice view of the village. No, the, not the whole village. House of the village chief. Kejakino village. Storehouse. Can I come in? Yes, yes. Some are eating, eating badly. Some. Uh -uh. Yo, I think this is for general, no? Must be, uh, no, village people give to the chief, no? Collection. It's a collection of many years. It's a collection of many years. Now they are giving more. Yeah, they have to give. No, like ten tithes we pay not to church. Okay, okay, okay. All the same. See, many years they collect. Uh, and they keep like this. But not this, it's not all one. Yeah, they will be eating. Yeah. They, they have to the give to the village chief yeah. something, no, as usual. So still there is a chief here. Yes, yes. The tradition. So clean village. Nice village. Streets are clean. It's a village. So all it is cultivating. Cultivating. Lower kill of Kejakuno village. Okay, you first go and listen and you can take later on. Oh, nice V point. V point. <laughs> nice V point. Then look this side. And look this side. Only behind, no? Back. Lower kill of Kejakuno 
Here lies the magic stone. <laughs> Possible this here. Look here, both of you. Look, look, look. Even if you don't want to look, see here. <laughs> This is a sacred water where young people come and take bath to purify themselves and to purify all the hunting materials, the weapons. It is meant for purifying. It's believed that after purifying from this bone, they can hunt animals or even kill enemies. So this is a belief. It's a sacred bone. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure if you are there, you will subscribe also. Yes. Yes. And they settled here. And okay. uh, after they come to the, this place, they discovered that these stones had magical power during that, that, that time. So, uh, in this black stone, during the olden days, it is said that uh, one basket of berries pass in the sun for a day, in the evening too, they can uh, take turns to dry paddy in these stones. But one day, two of the elder brothers uh, make a plan not to let that youngest one to do, uh, dry in his turn. They wanted to take his turn. So during that time too, they had a quarrel among each other. They had a fight. So when their mother saw, uh, when their mother saw that they are, they are having a quarrel, she thought that uh, in the future too, there will be a bigger conflict and it, they might kill each other. So the mother asked his sons to bring some uh, what? Oh, dry sesame uh, uh, leaves. And after they brought the dry sesame leaves, they, uh, she put it in, uh, inside the stone and she burned the stone. So after burning, too, there was a lot of... Uh, one explosion after that, uh, a stone the size of this went up and it never came down. So it is believed that the spirit is in, on that stone. So after that explosion, there was no more magical power. <laughs> Yeah, this is a giant stone with the orchid on top where a giant used to rest his elbow and take Naga rice beer. Interesting, no? <laughs> nice place. Nice walk around the village. We are going to the last scale, which is already a village, recognized village. Terrace cultivation. Nice maize field. Whoa. Here is one maize. It's all organic. All organic. <laughs> Jungle walk. <laughs> so slow Madam, enjoy the walk. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking for late. <laughs> 
Hey, last stone, the last kill is far, never ending. All are tired. Breakfast is over. Hey, no energy. Still, yet to climb a lot. Mango, mango in the village. See the gooseberry. Wow, plenty of gooseberry. Oh. Gooseberry, gooseberry. Hi, finally we are on the lower kill, last kill, but very high point view, uh, viewpoint. Finally we are here. Some boys watching. Whenever there is any dispute, they come and settle here, all the issues. And if if you touch, if you try to disagree, then there will be weather, bad weather and some calamity will take place. This is the belief of the locals. This is also Mount Christian School. Mount Kahu Christian School. Okay. So once if we meddle with this stones and all, yeah. it will attract oh, better calamities. Okay, okay. So like <coughs> in the uh, there was a story that during the army where during well, disturbed time. Yes. So the army was stationed here. Okay. So one of the army, he didn't believe in a second spot and he stayed and did something and it seems that right at the moment the lightning strike and killed him on this spot. Okay. And okay. even to these days, it is believed that it still has a, its magical power. Magical huh? powers like uh, mm. one of my cousin's sister is a teacher here. Okay. So whenever they have a social work. If they disturb something, then oh. there used to be a hailstorm or bad weather. No? Okay. So okay. it is still believed that this, uh, it still had got a magical power. Okay. So this is the okay. last one. So then cleaning is okay? Cleaning Some. is okay, but uh, we cannot change the structure at all. Okay, okay. Can't move. Okay, yeah. anything. Okay. Hey, please come down. Oh. Don't go up, don't no. up. Come down, come down. Come down. <laughs> you cannot go up there without permission. Losing. More than anything. Jane looks healthy now. No. <laughs> come, come, come. Back of this building. There's nice view. Let's not miss it. Which one you can see? Right? Yeah. So, Jejakuno village looking towards Nagaland and Manipur. Finally, it's done. We are going back. <laughs> we have seen all the places. Dire but satisfied and happy. Dire but happy. Finally, it's over. We are going back. <laughs> Some are not tired. Mm, last touch. Bye bye. Last touch. Bye bye. <laughs> 